got about 20 miles to get home. I'm tired. Oh my gosh. This is what I hate. Big old clods. Play on. <coughs> the turn off where that sign is. Way different than this morning. You can tell this is all dried out now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go down here. This will be. Get some footage. Fun. Let's get some footage. We'll see. Maybe I'll get some footage of you wrecking down here in one of these mud puddles. I look pretty, am I zipped up pretty good, can you tell? What, your backpack? Yeah. Yeah, it's all zipped up. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna take some, some huh? mental notes where I'm at here. Got the high road, the boulders that way. All right. And this is to the creek crossing. To the creek crossing on the right hand side. We're gonna Man, what, got some beautiful rock footage up here. There's some signs up here we'll stop because there's a turnoff that goes to the left. Uh -huh. Someday I'd like to take you there. It's the Ephraim's grave. You ever heard of that? I've heard of it, yeah. It's a big about a story about a big grizzly bear. I've never heard that story. There's a monument and everything. Really? A lot of people right up there. We'll, we'll go up here and just... Oh, yeah. 
put hardware wrench, but that connects to where we were just at, right? Hardware wrench that way. The way where we came from, right? That's where the truck is. So that, when it says to go straight. Straight. That's, we just came, took the high road, right? Around. You took the fork that would have taken you to Ephraim's grave and dip hollow. Wow. And I can't remember how far, e I can't remember how far Ephraim's grave is, but it's a ride. It? And you can get, you can go to it. And you can make a big loop and come back on this road. But it's an all day ride on this. And some of it's kind of technical. Oh, oh no. I don't know about a motorcycle. <laughs> so far, so good. Let me let some air out of my tires. Okay. Oh. Uh. feel like trying it today? You want me to go through and see how wet it, deep it is? Yeah. Why you want, is that the way you want to go back? No. Nope. We're going this way. We don't need to. We Let's go this way. Yeah. I might, I'll stay dry. Even though I think I might be in better shape this time going through something like that. It. The bottom is just like this. It's just like that. It's not soft or nothing. Well, I can't tell you that. I'm on a four-wheeler. Yeah, you're running like two two pounds over here. Two and a half. You're cheating. Two and a half. <laughs> well, when I get that tubeless system, I'll be able to run two pounds on this. Let me see how deep it is. Huh? Let me see how deep it is. Okay. You got to go through it fast. You got to go in the middle. Did you go on this side on purpose? No. I just kind of let the bike find its way. Well, there, when I went through, you could see the bottom. There's some rocks in there. You were staying over here? I was kind of staying in the middle. I'm stuck on this side, Craig. Huh? I'm stuck on this side of the river. No, you're crossing it. We're going up the other way.
Did the water go down inside your boot? No, I'm wet everywhere except my boots. That shit feels good. You did good in that creek. Thanks. You did Should good. Did you video? Oh yeah. Nice. You did it good. It got deep for a minute there. Huh? It got deep for a minute there. It was just splashing on me though. Splashing on you, but. But it was probably good to get all that. Still. If you'd have went any slower, you'd have tipped over. But it was, it was getting slime on those rocks. I could feel it. I yeah. was breaking loose. And that's why I started going off course. I just had to go where I was going off course. See, that's the thing. I tell you, I, it's, as, it's as solid as this, but I got four tires. It's slick. I got four tires and they're wide. You can just feel it. You know how when you walk across a river and it's, you almost slip on yeah, your Yeah, but I couldn't feel it in this. Not running two pounds of pressure. Two and a half. Two and a, two and a half pounds. The thing is, also though, a sing, single track, you hit a rock, you're gonna go like this where I just kinda go over it. That's why it's better to stand up and let your bike just use your body positioning. Depends, were you, sta Depends. Were you standing up in the creek? I didn't notice. Standing up. Was you? Sitting down, I would hit something and then it just shoot your ass, you know, and just not, you're just dead weight. Now, I'm sure you can go through you, it. You did good going through there. Well, I just felt, I feel more planted with these new tires on here. I wonder how you, maybe a, a week, two weeks ago when we went up here, when it was deeper, Yeah. maybe you would have had a harder time. It was deeper. It seemed pretty deep. It seemed like it was to the top of your wheels about. Yeah, but before it was the top of the tires. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> that's the thing, you go too fast, you're gonna freaking. Oh, yeah, you know. Water. That's what we used to do in the old days. We'd hit them as hard as we could and just have it come over us. But today, you'd be kind of wet. Not bad. It's a good day. Let Craig go through it first. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. I think I'd be better off on this other side.
could have done it easy.